In Lake Worth, police evacuated a Walmart after reports of a suspicious person with weapons or explosives. Officers later found suspicious devices at two other locations, one on Azel and the other on Boat Club Road. WFAA's Brittany Moncrease joins us live in Lake Worth. And Brittany, can you walk us through this initial investigation? Well, this Walmart here in Lake Worth is now back to normal after a very scary morning. Lake Worth police tell us that around 940 this morning, a man later identified as 43 year old Donald Mark Scott came inside this building, possibly armed with explosive material. They say that Scott sent messages to his parole officer saying, quote, had this plan since 2007 and has things stashed everywhere. He also sent a photo with two backpacks. That parole officer immediately contacted police and police were able to ping his phone here at this Walmart. They quickly evacuated the area while working to track down Scott. Police say they tracked him to a second location at Ritchie Brothers where they found a camel like backpack. Bomb squad was brought in and able to determine that that bag was safe. Now around 1130, investigators ping Scott's phone in a neighborhood near Marine Creek Elementary. That's a little over a mile away from where this Walmart is in Fort Worth. And he was taken into custody without incident. Now police say while investigating him, they located a second, that second backpack at Boat Club Road. Road. The bomb squad rendered that bag safe as well. It looked kind of like a hiking bag, police tell us. And they also say that the bag had items like cooking containers, propane tanks, and electrical wiring, which could be used for explosive. Now, multiple law enforcement agencies, including Lake Worth and Fort Worth Fire and Police, ATF, FBI, and Homeland Security, all came together to work to make sure this area was safe. And thankfully, no one was injured. All things considered, this incident was handled nearly perfectly. Um, the coordination and partnership that we had with our partners, fire department, police, working hand in hand, it was absolutely seamless. Uh, we operated under a unified command structure, everybody in one location working together. Now, police did tell us that Scott is known to officers. They say he has some mental health challenges and is believed to be homeless. They tell us he's currently being interviewed by investigators and no charges have been released just yet. Now, earlier today, Loop 820 was blocked off all morning. It is now back open.